400 Americans have given half the money in this election cycle so far. That's not American democracy, that's banana republic democracy. But we have no right, we, white Americans, who came to this country without a visa, who came to this country without the permission of the Native Americans who were here in this country, we have no right to exclude others from this country in the way that we have in the past 50 years. I think the Black Lives Matter movement is the most important political movement to remind America about how it has betrayed its fundamental commitment. Of course, when America was born, we had betrayed that commitment through slavery. I think I might be the most liberal drug decriminalization person in this campaign. I think we've wasted an extraordinary amount of money and human lives in this ridiculous war on drugs. Uh, a war which has not only destroyed whole communities in the United States, but destroyed whole countries in South America and across the world. I think Donald Trump has done the best of things and the worst of things. The best of things is, in the Republican Party, he pulled back the curtain on the way money corrupts the system. Standing on the debate stage, calling out every one of those candidates for president, emphasizing the way all of them were dependent on large donors to fund their campaigns because it brought all of us to recognize, in a cross-partisan way, the corrupting influence of money in politics. Bernie is identifying all the amazing things that we as Americans have to do. And most of the things he's talking about, I completely agree with. But he is not given a plan for how's he gonna, how he's going to fix this corrupted system. He is not. He has not committed himself to fixing this corrupted system first. He's identified the problems of corruption. He's pointed to the right answers. But checking off a box is not a plan. And what I've said is we have to commit ourselves to fixing this democracy first, if any of these amazing ideas that he's talking about are even possible. If we take on student debt, we take on the most powerful political interests in America today. Those banks who defend this system where they have guaranteed loans yet charge incredibly high interest rates to the borrowers are going to fight this reform with every ounce of energy they've got. And so if we're going to have a chance to win, we have to change the system where they have so much power.